Hey, it's me, Javid. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on Legendary Difficulty, i.e. the hardest difficulty, which might go on a little bit longer than we originally planned. Uh, welcome back. This is the day before the live episode. Are you finding yourself annoyed? Are you finding yourself saying, well, I'm going to skip that episode because I hate them? Or are you finding yourself excited or maybe indifferent? Uh, I really look forward to them. They're a lot of fun for me to do. Oh my god, no you don't. I really look forward to them. They're a lot of fun to do. Um, and you know, a good way to kind of mix the YouTube and Twitch audiences. So, if you're looking forward to that, well, tomorrow... Well, it would have already been recorded. <laughs> but tomorrow the episode will air. So you can check it out. But yeah, we get a lot of stuff done. I usually, uh, these days I'm definitely pretty good at staying on track. I want to hop into there if we can. Who is that? Oh. Ooh, okay. Let's save the game as a new save. What is this? I'm worried that this is a thing that we don't want to do just yet. Uh, anyways, the live episode will uh, air tomorrow. And if you'd like to be a part of the live recordings, you know, watch them live. Come on over to twitch.tv slash Rovana. Link is in the description below. Now, this is going to be very, very, very satisfying. You know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Adios. <laughs> Bandit Chief! <laughs> oh, the health bar. Is he dead? Wait, why are there two bandits? The heck? Alright, let's try to do this. Yeah! Why are there two bandits? And one of them is like at half health, but we definitely hit the Valfheim Towers. Goat Cheese Wedge, Imperial Bow of Chills. We just picked up a frost bow. What is happening? This is like a really fun way to do whatever this is. Hopefully that guy died, but hopefully he doesn't have something that we want on him. Okay, let's slowly infiltrate from the top up. I didn't plan to do this, but now it's too interesting to not do. If you catch my drift. Also, I just realized this would make a great thumbnail. So I have to remember to go back to this and write down the towers as a thumbnail. Yeah, I'm sure that architecture will catch the eye beautifully. The Black Arrow version 2, which is definitely going to be archery. How the hell do we already have 53 archery? I'll tell you how. It's because we used Feindal and then threw him away. Retire someday. Get myself an island. Yeah, will you? Fortunately, pal, for you, your retirement comes early. In the form of death. Now, you better open up nicely or I'm going to be... Oh, I'm ga oh, now I'm angry. Oh, now I don't like it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's see. Any good books lately? Alchemy Lab. Yeah, we need all the healing potions we could possibly get. Oh, and I need to go back and get some healing potions. I gotta do that, too. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Stand right there. Pretty as a picture. Okay, you're gonna feel a big force coming from behind. Nobody say anything in the comment section, please. Hopefully that did the trick. Not entirely sure. Ow! Oh my god. Okay, whoa! Oh, uh, close the door. Okay, back up we go. You can't hide from me. I'm literally hiding from you. This guy's super low, actually. He's just a he's just a bandit. Over here! <laughs> Let's feed. Thank you. Okay, where are we going? I guess we're going this way. Hopefully that other guy died. I feel like these people are not dying. Oh, man. This is so many opportunities for some big gravity kills. Okay, that spent just enough time. Let's reset the stealth real quick. Come on. You can do it. There we are. Okay. Now you also are going to feel a very big force from behind. Don't worry about it. It's natural. It's a natural part of life. If I can actually... Okay. Okay. Well, that... Okay. If you want to come over here, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, situate yourself like right about... Well, would you rather go that way? I mean, that's... That, that way That way is cooler. There's like a whole waterfall and everything. Oh, this is going to feel so good. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, you're ruining it. You're ruining it. Oh, Off you go. Enjoy your journey. Hope it's a good one. Ooh, right on the rocks. Not good. Who are you? Oh, is that the bandit chief? 
Are you telling me this guy is full health for real? Holy crap. We shouted that guy out from the legend. He's still like completely full health. That is not going to be good. Okay, hi. What's your name? Bandit Plunderer. Does that mean you're good or what? Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Down you go as well. What a weird adventure this is. Okay, let's try to buy some time here. Death is hanging. Death is right around the corner. Yeah, I don't know. Where did I go? Oh, God, no. Okay, he doesn't see me, I don't think. Do we have Berserker? Son of a bitch. No, what do you mean? You can't see. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, okay. We need to heal. If that guy even touches me, I think we're dead. Where is he going? What the heck? Okay, you need to die now. You're causing me a great amount of trouble. Oh, God. Die! I can't let this guy touch me. You need to die, lady! No! That is exactly why I didn't want that guy to touch me. Yes? Son of a bitch. Where's our last save? God, that's what I thought. How in the world did this guy survive that? How in the world? Did he land on, like, the bridge? Okay, let's try something else. We're not going to do this entire location now, but what we will do... Is someone there? No, nobody's there. You better die, dude. That is a massive fall. Is he dead? He lived. Unbelievable. Don't kill me. Okay. Let's handle this like men. Oh, he's fighting. Okay. What are you? Fi How much health do you have? He is at full health. Are you joking? Are you joking? Okay. Let's actually not fight like men. Let me just go chill over here for a split second. If you don't. Okay. 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 I'll show you. Oh real. God! I'm sure you will. No. Um. What do I do? This guy's way too tanky. No way we're even killing him. Okay. Come over this way. Yeah. I need Berserker Rage, by God. What do I even do? I think Mark for Death, maybe? Yeah, you know what? I'll show you the power of Mark for Death. There's so many musical tracks going... Oh, God. So many musical tracks going over one another. Let's try to restore some HP if we can. Yeah. Is that worth the time? Okay. We need Mark for Death to stack, basically. We could grab some health back. Not that it's going to matter. He's going to deal my entire health bar in one hit. Okay, one more mark for death and we'll be good. Dude, somebody is attacking you behind you. Oh, the damage. And good night. Okay, we are out of here. Holy crap. That was a big excursion, but it was a lot of fun. Okay, stop playing musical tracks over one another. My god. That is so annoying. I usually turn my headphones pretty loud. Oh my god, please shut up. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, there's nothing here. Please shut up. Ugh, I hate this. I hate when it does this. It's seriously super aggravating. Because I turn my headphones super loud so I could be immersed in the video game world. And I just cannot even hear myself think. Dude, there is no button. Do I, what do I have to do? Wait an hour? Can't even wait. Shut up! Get me out of this hell! <laughs> Shut up! Ugh. Seriously, why is it not stopping? I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Here are the books that went missing. Well, well. You seem to be in one piece. Thank you. Darkness. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. 
I like how we said Toll Deer. What do we get? Knight of Tears, The Last King of the Aliens, Racial. Right, fo oh, we got a bunch of books. Okay, you need to shut up. Too many things happening at once. Bye. Okay. Okay, yeah, he gives you a whole mess of books. In fact, I wonder if we go to books. Oh, boy. Yeah, he just gave me a lot of stuff. 2920 Hearthfire, which will be Conjuration. I already read that, really. Boethius Proving is for a quest. Catalog of Weapon Enchantments. I wonder what that's going to be. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Cultist Orders. Daughter of the Nibbin, which is what? Alteration? Yep. Shouldn't have even read that. Should have kept that in my inventory. But, ah, oh, well. Uh, we've got Racial Phylogeny. I don't know what the word phylogeny means. And I would look it up if it didn't mean alt-tabbing this game. That's going to be Restoration. Nice. Which should be way more increased than what it is currently. But, oh, well. Response to Barrow's Speech. Destruction, which we've already read. Candlelight. Ray Zombie. Soul Trap. And is that it? The Black Arts on Trial, which is going to be Illusion. Sweet. Uh, Thonar's Journal, Treasure Map. Oh, I want to look at the uh, Treasure Map, by the way. So we'll try to see if we can figure that out. But let's try to sell those books to Hundreds Rock of years. Shub. You need a book? I have a few things laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. Okay, he's got... You may look through them. He's got 500 gold. In you go. In you go. In you go. In you go. In you go, 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 indigo. <laughs> like the color of the book, get it? And bye. And that's it. Wow, that didn't really give us... Okay, it's not even worth keeping the skill books. It doesn't even give us anything. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. All right, so since we completed the quest, we're done with the College of Winterhold for now. I'm not going to continue the College of Winterhold quest line because there's another quest line that will give us something that's going to be absolutely mag magnificent you know, to hold. They say knowledge is its own reward. Really? Leave me alone. I got things to do. I've already wasted 12 minutes. It wasn't a waste. Come on now. It was fun. Okay, good intentions. How about no? What we're in fact going to do... Well, first of all, I do want to take a look at that treasure map X. Huh, what the heck is that? Is that supposed to be a Daedric, a Daedric statue? What the heck? Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. Water? I mean, that's water, right? What else would that be? What's the thing at the top there? But that stone, that's that's definitely a stone, like a standing stone, right? But, like, I thought it was the lady, but maybe it's not. I mean, you would think it would be this, but that's the serpent. Is it the serpent? What's this one? The tower? It looks like it's... I mean, they put little water lines. So if that's not actually water, I would be very surprised. Oh, the lady! Oh, I was thinking of the lover. And I was like, wait, there's no water around the lover. But it's the lady, isn't it? Ah. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now. Oh, that's definitely... Yeah, look. I, I forgot that they have the actual picture. So that's definitely the lady stone. Okay. And then if we take a look at the local map, that, yeah, the thing up there must be Illinata's Deep. So then, we take a look at this. Okay, so that's the Lady Stone. It's like right in the water. Yeah, that's definitely Illinata's Deep because it had the two towers at the top there. So it's like in the water, like directly. Okay, where's Illinata? Okay, so it's like right over there. Yeah, there's the little lip. So if we go, oh my God, that's so creepy. I'm, dude, I'm getting, I'm getting Subnautica flashbacks. Man, I I've said this a lot on my Twitch stream. Okay, we're looking for, like, some sort of chest down here. Aha! Ebony helmet. Yeah, well, we'll take our spoils. Flawless garnet, gold, lesser soul gem, or a calcum ingot gold necklace. Not the best. Like, not, not a crazy reward, but still. If that is it, there could just be another treasure chest, but that'd be bad game design because they would put it right next to a treasure hunt thing. Oh, God, no, not like this. Not like this. Oh, God. Okay, that was close. Uh, yeah, I've said this... Uh a bunch on my Twitch stream. It would be so cool to see a horror game. I think it would genuinely be too scary. You look at a game like Resident Evil 7, which I love, which has VR, and that's pretty scary, but you know, it's like, there's some funny aspects to it, and it's not really realistic in a lot of ways, the story. By the way, we're gonna go do this now. Taking care of business every night. And working over... Stop. I need a new Xbox One controller. Gosh dang it. Okay, here we go. 
Ah, oh, stupid fish. I'm gonna whack you, fish. I can't whack you underwater, and I forget because I barely ever... Oh, there's so many enemies here. Gosh darn it. How the heck do we get out of this situation? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Re like, certain horror games are just not scary because they're not really re realistic. <laughs> I, I think I think Resident Evil 7 is scary, but it's like, again, it's like, you know, it doesn't terrify me to my core. If I played VR, it probably would be really bad, but I'm just saying, what honestly would be, I think, the scariest game ever made would be something like Subnautica, which already in and of itself is scary as hell because it's just like deep sea exploration and there's things that want to kill you and it's as scary as you would imagine. But the game is actually not designed to be scary. Even though it like super duper is. So imagine a game like Subnautica designed to be scary. Where you're swimming and it's just like, you know, a gigantic realistic looking eyeball looking at you and then trying to kill you. Like that honestly to me sounds like just about... You're a stranger here. I've been looking huh? for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Is that Thonar? Items added. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay, let's read that. Grogon Grobalmog. In the name of Jarl Igman, it is with great regret that we inform you of Thonar Silverblood's death. <laughs> the deceased has bequeathed unto you a measure of inheritance in the amount of a hundred gold pieces. What? The Jarl's court has levied an amount of 10 gold pieces from the sum as the lawfully and honorably due tax. The remainder has been commended unto the care of a trusted courier for deliverance. While all of the Jarl's court, Jarl's court grieves with you on this day, we rejoice in the knowledge that the deceased was in possession of dear friends and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inheritance prove as a reminder of your enduring faith in one another and of the Jarl's benef benef beneficence? beneficence accorded unto you both. Thanks. Why the hell would Thonar put me in his will? I have no idea, but sure. Anyways, point is, you get the idea. Like, a, a game designed from the ground up to be like Subnautica with underwater exploration, but, um, you know, with the intention of being a horror game, would be absolutely terrifying. By far, I think, the scariest thing that could ever be made. Oh, man. Not that that's realistic, but it's still, I, 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 I shudder to think. I shudder to think how scary that would be. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do this quest now, which is taking care of business. After successfully locating the Ragged Flagon, Bridyoff has given me a new assignment. Three business owners in Riften are proving to be a thorn in his side, and I'm supposed to teach them the error of their ways. I should speak to Bridyoff about these townspeople in the event that they prove to be as stubborn as I'm expecting them to be. So we have three different people that we have to strong arm, but we can do it in interesting or non-interesting ways. So we're gonna do the interesting ways, of course. This one, since it deals with Argonians, are most likely gonna be Kirava. So that is, use Talon J to get to Kirava. So this is Talon J. What do you want? You might want to talk some sense into Kirava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. That helped me to convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Why the hell- Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Talon Jay, you're a good guy. So I'm gonna ask you about how you met. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I could find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Yeah, I feel like he's, a, again, he's like an honorable dude. And I think Grogon appreciates honorable dudes and dudettes. Can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. 
One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the Hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Meat! If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend. <laughs> well, don't be so surprised, man. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Are you ready to pay Brynjolf what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Morwind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay up and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here. Take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. That voice hurts. That voice makes me think that it hurts you. And I understand my because my voice hurts. Because I talk all the time. Okay, uh, let's see. Steal Helga's statue of Debella, smash Bercy's prize dwarven urn. So where is Helga at? Uh, let's see. We've got two doors over there, and that is it. Here's the bee and the barb? The pond prawn. Right, what's the bee and the barb? Is that the inn? I, I don't remember the names of the places too much. Hi, Drifa. Hello, Bercy. So, can I interest you in anything today? I'll tell you what you can interest me in. <laughs> No! You're going to break it! Oh my word. No! That urn was priceless. That was from Brynjolf. Get the message. I can't believe you did that. You people are monsters. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves. Take your coin. And tell Brynjolf to leave us alone. Yeah, by the way, pal, there's like a hundred, like a hundred thousand of these things in like every single dwarven ruin. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, you probably shouldn't go explore. Your reasons now. After all, I'm all paid up. Yeah, that's another warning. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's like a hundred thousand of those things in any dwarven ruin. So, I, you know, you can pay somebody probably to go grab it, like ten of them. Maybe sell them, maybe turn a profit. There was a fight down in the Ratway, but the reports are sketchy. Some say it was Talmer agents, others say Thieves Guild. Some say it was both. Uh, definitely not Thieves Guild. That's kind of weird. Helga's Bunkhouse. Which is what? Is that like an inn? It's you. Please, don't hurt me. What? Have we met? Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands to yourself. What about the mess, though? Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? Jeez, touchy. Looking I didn't even say anything. Is tough, but it put some coin in okay, pocket. whatever. Anyways, where's your little statue at? I think it's upstairs if I remember. Oh, what did it say? Steal it? Dang, Debella. Working on her figure. Okay, uh, what is it? Uh, steal hell? Yeah, just steal it. All right, it's mine now. And that's going to be a big old yoink. I took your statue, by the way. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. So, should I drop this statue down a well? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. I don't even like tasting gold. I don't even like eating gold. That's what I should have said. It would have been funnier if I didn't have to self-correct. Return to Brynjolf. Okay, so we should have the quick way to do... Oh, no, we don't have... Oh, well, I won't say anything other than that. Well, we do have the quick way... Because we uh, unlocked the bridge, but it's really annoying to have to go through the rat way over and over and over. If only there was a better way. But yeah, this is why you make sure to drop the bridge when you're going down here. So you don't have to go around the long way over and over. Although, there's probably a way to like speed it up. There's probably a way to like kind of jump up to the bridge. If, if you do have to go the long way, there's probably a way to like jump up to the, um, the little lever. And then throw it, and then be able to get back here faster. Or just drop the bridge the first time. So, job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Gold? Yeah, I will find that use. Oh no. Oh, I see. Elixir of pock picketing. Pock picketing. Pock pick. Pock. 
Pickpocketing! Jesus, filter of health and the other thing. What's next, then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. But really, I think the lore reason is literally Grogon is just god-awful at lockpicking, and he needs a way to learn how to be better at it. Um, so yeah, his, his orcish fingers are not dexterous, except when wielding a blade. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Touchy! Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Achievement lock taking care of business Let every me show night. You the then you can ask your questions. Man, I haven't looked at the achievements in a long time, but this could turn to be an all achievements playthrough. I don't know if I I, I don't think I want to do a hundred percent, because Adronox was so well done. To with Brigno first. We could talk later. And I honestly don't think my enjoyment of this series is going to last until like doing another hundred percent and then on top of that, like clearing out it's every single location. Way. Keep following me. But an all achievements run would be neat. As far as I remember, there are no missable achievements. It's just kind of completion stuff, guilds, main quest, uh, level ups and everything like that. So maybe that would that would tie off Grogon's story while also being practical, because I like getting all achievements and everything. I need to actually look at the achievements, though, and see how rough that would be, because I think they added some with certain DLCs. Didn't they add, like, dragon, certain dragon stuff and, like, making, um, making skills legendary? I don't remember. I have to look through them. Anyways, the Ragged Flagged Sister, and if you didn't see what happened there... He uh, pulled a secret thing, and the secret thing opened up just like the sleeping giant inn. Okay, speed it up, pal. They need to do the thing where they make NPCs go as fast as you. God, I love that about The Witcher 3 so much. When you're when you're running around, the NPCs are right there with you. It's just this way. Keep following. Yeah, I'm right behind you, waiting on you, pal. I think he stopped because I was on the bed, and he was like, he's not moving. He's not following. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Rules. We're thieves. What's the point of rules? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now are we clear on all of this? Mercer, Frey, have some mercy. Yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Yeah! Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. 
She'll set you up with your new armor. Tornelia! Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. What's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. So right then and there, the Thieves Guild isn't really a group of good people. I mean, I, that's pretty obvious, but still. I think they, Sky, you know, Bethesda tries to make it like, Oh, they're, you know, they're thieves with a heart of gold. But they just said to kill a guy that's just running a honey farm if he gets in the way. While also, you know, Brynjolf saying that, you know, to keep your blade clean. Okay. I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries? Not Riften guards? Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. How do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar meadery which would cut into her profits. Maven Blackbriar's the influential client? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. All righty then. We are officially a member of the Thieves' Guild. Also neat how they show the Goldor amulet on top there. Uh, nice, it's not hidden away. I really like Grogon's design. I was admiring it. I was like, I did a good job with the character creator. Not that, you know, I just picked all the cool options, really, but still, I really like how his design turned out, which is why I love the fan art so very much. Uh, we're going to end here, ladies and gentlemen. It is, of course, no secret now that I want to do the Thieves Guild next. Like I said, I was like, what are we going to do with Grogon? Because it was initially supposed to just be, you know, a very quick little side thing. But, um... Now, I don't know. It would be neat to do an all-achievement thing, but I'll have to look at the achievements and see if that is doable. We shall see. Nevertheless, we're going to warm our toes. We'll see you in the live episode tomorrow. Thank you so much to the patrons that support me and this channel. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, I stream live on Twitch all the time. The link and schedule are below. If you'd like to go the extra mile and support this channel, consider liking the video and or becoming a patron on Patreon. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.